Hey guys, I wanted to make a quick video to show you how custom themes work with AppPressor. Now we get this question a lot. So here I have a WordPress website that has just a normal theme on it and um, you know I want to make an app out of this. So I'm going to show you after you install the AppPressor theme what this is going to look like in the app. So I'm going to switch over to our app builder and I have this is actually the same page as this and you'll see that I have this plugin developers post here and the plugin developers post shows up first here and if I click into it I can see it. Now this doesn't look anything like my website and that's because when AppPressor is active we actually switch your theme uh, to a theme that is more suitable for the app and I can actually simulate this for you real quick. I'm, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to simulate that AppPressor is active on the same exact page. I'm going to click refresh right now and you'll see that it switches over to uh, this is the actual theme. Now you'll see that there's no header, no footer, no sidebars, anything like that. It just is suitable for a small screen and um, you know it looks like an app. So that's actually what you're seeing right here in the app. Um, now the reason why we do this is because um, Number one, you don't need all that kind of stuff, the header and the footer, um, because all that stuff is contained actually in the app itself. It's not part of WordPress. So all we need is the content area. So that that's what we're displaying here. Um, we're making sure that it's gonna display as quickly as possible by getting rid of the extra stuff that we don't need. Um, we also are meeting uh, you know, design guidelines um, based on apps. So making sure that everything looks good, um, like it's supposed to be in an app and not a website because uh, you can't actually get your app rejected from the app stores if it just looks like a website. So you don't wanna just use your WordPress theme in the app itself. Now, um, some problems can arise from this. If you are trying to use your theme and you have functionality in the theme, uh, so for example, short codes, or you have a theme that is displaying you know, job listings or things like that, and all the code for that is actually in the theme itself. Um, then that is not going to work in the app because we're switching the theme. So it's the same thing as like if you went to your you know WordPress admin, went to the themes and switched um, your theme, you know some of the things that were working before are not going to work. So um, what you can there's a couple things you can do. Um, number one is you can build a child theme of our uh, AP3 Ion theme here and uh, you can add that functionality back in as needed. Uh, what we would suggest is that you you know keep the app minimal as possible and only the necessary functionality built in there so you can do that with a child theme or you can do that with plugins now many of the themes that uh, do special things like like job listings and uh, things like that they actually have that functionality built into a plugin already and if that's the case then it will work in the app so any custom plugins will actually work in the app um, it's only functionality in the theme itself that's not going to work so, um, you know, a couple solutions, build a custom plugin, uh, build a child theme of our theme and customize it as much as you want. So, uh, you know, you can change the, the look, the design, the functionality, all that stuff, same way you would build a normal WordPress child theme. So, uh, just wanted to give you a quick heads up on that. And if you have any other questions, let us know.